Hey, hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to another exciting episode of GeoGuessr. Here we are in yesterday's daily challenge location. A really nice spot, a uh, great place to go camping as it looks like. Might need to take a kayak here or something like that, but a couple people have done that. Taken a kayak, brought us some tents and are hanging out on the beach. Wow, what a nice time. It definitely looks like it is and I guess it's time for me to guess where I think we are. Very hard to tell. I think on this one, I am going to guess that we are in Australia. And where in Australia? No, I don't think we're on Fraser Island. Great Shady National Park. Great Sandy. Yeah, I'd say maybe. No, I don't know about that. I think we're going to be in some kind of national park around here. What about, um, what about this one? No, that doesn't look quite, quite right. Oh, boy. You know what? What about, uh, what about this area over here? No, that doesn't look quite right either. Jeez, am I ever going to figure it out? Well, what about this area here? No, that's too mountainous. Okay, I've switched to New Zealand now. You know what? I I'm just going to go with Australia. We're going to go right up here, Queensland, and the answer was, oh, jeez. This was Florida. Florida. Uh, it's over here, though, which is a national preserve. Uh, Cape Romano, 10,000 islands. Jeez, they weren't kidding. Look at this thing. My God, 10,000 islands. 97 points. Again, another daily challenge where I get it completely wrong. Maybe I should stop guessing where I guessed around the last time, and that will cause me uh, to actually be successful. Guess far away. So next, next daily challenge will not be near Florida at all. 97 points. Hopefully some of you guys figured that one out. All right, here we are in today's daily challenge location. Wow, check this place out. We are atop a small hill overlooking some big fields. We got uh, this one right over here. This big self-watering like half circle thing. I wonder if it goes all the way around and back this way. I feel like it probably doesn't. I don't know, for whatever reason, doesn't it look like... Uh, does this look like, like a, I don't know, like a 270 degree circle? Doesn't really, but that may be just because of the way that uh, the you know the camera, the picture was taken. Maybe it looks wrong for whatever reason. But hey, you know what? Uh, this is a pretty cool place. And the real question is, where in the world do you think we are? All you need to do is put your guesses down in the comment section below. Tell me where in the world do you think this is. And in tomorrow's video's comment section, I will announce the winner, the person that guesses closest. Now there are no prizes, but there is glory to be won. So if you are interested in becoming today's top geo guesser, then tell me where in the world do you think we are right now. Alright, here we are in the main section of today's video, and today we've got a viewer challenge, a viewer challenge brought to us by none other than our good friend, NYO117, that's right, NYO117, thank you so much for sending this one in, this one has no theme, that's right, no theme, but hey, you know what, maybe there's a secret theme, or maybe not, but regardless, if you are interested in creating your own custom challenge, all you need to do is look down at the description below. You'll find a step-by-step -step guide on how to create your own custom challenge and how to send it to me. Also, you'll find a link to this one so you can play along yourself. So let's give it a shot. Boom! Shakalaka. Let's do it. All right, what do we got here? We've got... Well, it's a bit hard to tell exactly where we are. I don't really have an idea, but the water sure is nice. Let's go down this way because I feel like this is the direction where there's a lot more stuff. One of the things that I do see right here is a big Chevrolet van. So maybe we're in a, uh, a Caribbean island. Uh, that's one of the things that uh, comes to mind. Rubis, the brand of choice. Okay. The brand of... Maybe we're just in America. I mean, there is that possibility, too. Mitsubishis and... Uh, what, do we have anything that tells us about... Not really. Woody's Sports Bar. Okay. It's Woody's Sports Bar. The vehicles here look uh, look not... Qu okay, well, this is clearly not America, actually, now that I think about it. We're also driving on the left. All right. So we're not in America, even though there's a Chevrolet van. I guess, you know, we could be pretty much anywhere in the world just because, you know, just because we see that. I mean, look at the other vehicles. Come on. So where do I think this is? I'll be honest. I don't know. I don't think we're possibly in any Caribbean island. I don't really, I really don't know where we could be, actually. 
That's the confusing part. I really don't know where this could be. A tough one. This is a tough one. We got to get somewhat of a clue, like a flag or uh, or something else that's going to really point us. Free tablet. You get a free tablet right there uh, if you would like. Cement trucks and things like that. My goodness. Um, something rentals. Do I have any idea where this place is? I mean, I, I don't really. And I don't think we are in, like, it's not in Australia. At least I don't think it is. It's not a New Zealand. At least I don't think it is. The UK. All right. Well, that being said, you know, where? What is this? Well, okay. You know what? Maybe we are in the Caribbean. That's true. Uh, we could be on, uh, what, what are we looking at? British Virgin Islands. That's that's true. We could be there. Yeah, why, why not? That sounds not too wrong. What's the other one that we could be in? Uh, is it St. Kitts and Nevis that we could be on? Well, you know what? Let's go British Virgin, Virgin Islands on this one. The answer was Bermuda. 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 That's where we were. Ah, uh, okay. Well, I was kind of on the right track. Not really, though. Bermuda. Uh, that's really too bad. Well, there you go. Sugarcane Point Beach, 2037. Okay. Well, oh. Well, there you go. We got a lot of, like, really small elephants. I'm guessing these elephants are young. I mean, jeez. Very hefty. They're all sort of moist and muddy. My God. All right. So lots of elephants. Lots of people wearing strange green coats. They're just all walking around, having a stomp in the mud, enjoying themselves. I mean, that's good to see. <laughs> where do I think this is? Well, I mean, that raises the question again. Where in Africa do you find elephants? I don't know. Are they all over? I don't think they are. Maybe they are. I think it's, is it, you know, are giraffes all over the place? I don't know. See, this is the hard part, is trying to figure that out, because I really don't know. You know, if where do you find elephants in Africa? Do you find it all over the place? I mean, I'm going to guess you don't find them up here in the north. I'm going to guess that that's probably not where you find them. But if you go down here and down, are they all over here? I don't know. I really don't know. And moving around, it's kind of tricky. I kind of want to get to a point like maybe we can see somewhere else beyond past the elephants. Maybe there'll be something else that we that we could possibly get to. But I'm thinking all these pictures are going to be just uh, with and around the elephants. Because I, I... Oh, hold on. Are we breaking free? Not really. This is about as far as we can get away. All right. Well, I'm fairly certain we're going to be in Africa. And there are elephants. So where is this going to be? That's a good question. Zambia. Sounds good to me. Where? Let's go, like, right around here. Make the guess, and the answer was Kenya. Not the worst guess. Not the best guess. There you go, 2073. Well, what do we have here? We've got a city. Uh, nation, National. Okay, national. We've got a basketball court. Philippines is what I'm thinking. Just, just looking at it, actually. Um, it was recently added. This is a recent challenge. First guess. Well, let's see what we get when we actually look at things. I'm starting to think that I was probably right in my Philippines guess. Not 100% for sure. Double deals. Double the excitement. Oh my god. With a Galaxy... With a Samsung Galaxy S Duos and a Galaxy Tab 3. Jeez, this is recent? My god. A Galaxy Tab 3 is really old. I mean... My god, I mean, what, what have they released since then? The Galaxy Tab 4, the Tab A's, the Tab S, the Tab S2. I mean, jeez louise, they released a lot of Galaxy Tabs here. Come on now. Or you can get some tuna. I mean, look at that. That actually looks look, look, look a decent meal right here. Doesn't look gross like most tuna that you, you can buy around here. So, we got a big market now. I wasn't expecting to somehow end up here, but... 
I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that this is Manila, although, to be honest, it could be pretty much anywhere. But Philippines, I'm fairly certain. Right? It, it just makes sense. It's got a lot of... we got a lot of English. We've got... You know, like the fancy vehicles. We've got a couple of those that, we, that we've seen so far. Like this one right here. And all of those ones over there. And all of these ones. Yep, yeah, alright. This is definitely... This is definitely the Philippines. Hey, look, there's a McDonald's open uh, 24 hours. Well, there you go. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Craving, give in, call, oh my god, they do delivery here. I mean, I guess you can, right? It's just such a, so many people in such a crowded area that you can't afford for McDonald's to do delivery. You know, that's something you could never have here. McDonald's doing delivery. KFC, Mercury drug. Please don't sell Mercury as a drug. There's uh, some, all right. Where are we? We are in the Philippines, and we are in Manila. Probably? Maybe not. But let's guess it. Manila. The answer is yes, indeed. 62, 63. Okay. What about this place? Oh, this is going to be a hard one. All right. This is going to be a hard one. S-H-K Khalid bin M-O-H-D. Wow, jeez. I'm fairly certain that's a name of a person. Like, this might be Sheik, and this might be Mohammed. And this last one is Street. Lord. I mean, it's a big name for a street. But when you write that down, you know, if, like, it's your address, right? So you live on, like, uh, you know, you live on 115 Sheik Khalid bin Mohammed al Qasimi Street. That's big. I mean, geez, even the name in Arabic's long. My God. <laughs> You know, you really got to be committed to, you know, having a name like that. But I guess, you know, it's the, the, the tradition of naming streets after people, you know, happens a heck of a lot. This seems to be a main street. Look at it. It goes straight down the middle of this city. Where are we? I mean, I still have no idea. But, uh, but there you go. I still think it's a bit long. It's a bit long of a name for a street. I mean, you know, maybe there's like a, like a shortened, like, version of it. But like, from this place... Like, sends out, like, oh, what, what, where, where's your address? I mean, I guess everything's printed nowadays. You don't need to write it by hand. Still, though. Still a long thing to type. So, perfume sell selling shop. All right, we got a perfume selling shop. We've got uh, a cafeteria of some sort. Where is this? I'll be honest with you. I'm fairly certain we will be in the Middle East. But Where? That's a good question. I, I really don't know. In fact, yeah, we could be not in the Middle East, but I think we are. Um, there you go. So we've got watches and lady accessories. We've got Flour Mill Supermarket. Still no idea of the country that we are in. Still no idea of the country. Trying to figure that one out. Maybe a flag will help. I'm a little bit iffy on the flags in the Middle East, but I can do an okay job. There's definitely quite a few of them that I do know. Uh, there's a mobile phone, TR. How about email addresses? Right? People people love email addresses. It might be email addresses. I mean, uh, websites, you know? Dot what? Dot what? Oh, hold on. That's a flag right there. Okay. So what do we know about that flag? That is, all right, it's green, white, and black with a red square. That is confusing because many, many flags look like that. Now, the United Arab Emirates, is that the flag of the United Arab Emirates? Is it, that, is it like that with a red square or is it a red triangle? What about the flag of Kuwait? Is that a black square? Those are good questions. Those are those are the two real ones that come to mind. Ministry of Interior Department. We could be in the United Arab Emirates. I mean, I know for sure that there is a lot of street view there. You know, this 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 definitely could be that. 
I wouldn't be too surprised, actually, if that's where we ended up being. I don't think Kuwait's a possibility. What's another country that I think has a flag that looks like that? Let me let me go. Oh, Jordan kind of has a flag that kind of looks like that too, doesn't it? Okay. Well, it's clearly not uh, Iran or Iraq or Saudi Arabia. I don't think it's Oman. I think Oman has a pretty cool flag, but I forget what it looks like. I really I don't even the, the Qatar. Oh yeah, Qatar is a pretty uh, remarkable looking flag. I don't remember Bahrain. I'm gonna have to go and say maybe we're like around over here or something like that. Right country, right country, wrong area. But there you go. It was the, indeed the flag of the United Arab Emirates. Well, there you go. Uh, 2988. I was thinking it was like not a main city, not Dubai, not Abu Dhabi, somewhere else. Oh, I was right, but wrong area. 2988. Okay. What have we got? What do we have? Uh, Angkot. Uh, not really certain. What do we got here? Penang, Binjai, Barris. Okay, all right, all right. For whatever reason, I'm feeling like we are in, uh, feel like we might be in Indonesia. That might be an okay guess. There's a lot of places we could actually be, though. There is a lot of, oh, hold on, what does that say? Indo Maret. Okay. That's as good as a clue as I need to have. Uh, we got a big movie poster or like a TV show for uh, Bulan Kaburan. It's on uh, sort of like April something. All right. What else do we have? I don't know what that says, but okay. Let's keep moving down the street. See if there's anything else we can see. Big hints, something telling us where we are. Go ahead. All right. Oh, some weird skulls and crossbones and stuff. All right. Believe we are in Indonesia. But where in Indonesia are we? That's going to be the tough part. I feel like this one, we're actually going to be around... Or I think we're going to be on, on Sumatra. And I think we're going to kind of be near Medan. Kind of near Medan. Binjai. Didn't we see that? Near Medan, so we'd be in Medan going to Binjai. Let's make the guess. The answer is, oh my god, I got it right. 59.83. There you go. Look at that. 59.83. Wow, that was a pretty good Indonesia guess, I'm going to say. Uh, so, some good guesses, some not so much. Uh, started off in none other than Bermuda, not the British Virgin Islands, but I was kind of on the right track in that one. Where are elephants in Africa? Well, around here. Hopefully, they're in both the places. Well, I mean, they're definitely in Kenya, but what about Zambia? Well, we're gonna say I'm gonna say hopefully. Uh, then we went to the Philippines. Manila was indeed correct. Uh, United Arab Emirates recognized the flag, but where? That was pretty tricky. All the way up here, instead of all the way right here. And then finally, uh, really, really good Indonesia guess. 19304. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Ah, uh, yeah. Cue the royalty-free music. Three, two, one, go. Come on, everybody, get on your feet. Stand up, look at the screen, and repeat. I'm gonna like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aether vids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. Hope you've enjoyed, and let's get on with our lives. Oh yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Oh yeah. Have a good one. Bye.